like we're up to the big boys. So heavyweight, uh, 125 kilos. This is this is a weight class where Gino Petrosvili is a multiple time world champion. He is a legit athlete at this weight class without question. He's big, he's strong. He's got a lot of these variables that are really help him over a long period of time of being successful in the, in the spotlight at the heavyweight division. So he's the top seed. Uh, the, the two seed is Taha Agul from Turkey, who's the 2016 Olympic champion. Those two have been in the game for so long that once again, you got guys that are older and more experienced, but they don't have that youth on their side. And I can tell you that Gino right now, Gino is sitting at home saying, thank you, Stevenson, for not coming to this event. Because if Gable Stevenson made this event, he would really shake up this whole entire weight class because Gino would not get Mukhtar in the semifinal. He would wind up getting maybe Taha Agul in the semifinal. Or Zari in the semifinal. So definitely, that changes his whole tournament that Gable Stevenson is not here because if Gable was here, he'd be the top seed. And then you can see guys would have to hit other guys. So as it stands now, looking at Gino Petrosvili in the top half of the bracket, um, I see little problems here. First two rounds, um, I'd like to see Zilmer get out a little bit because if Zilmer can get out and get to and get past Baran from Poland, and Zilmer would get up against Gino, I'm suspecting that Gino would make the final. So then that would bring uh, Zilmer back into the tournament. So let's hope that. Uh, Zilmer can pull off two wins here. He would have to be Saparov and then Baran. Like I said, I think Baran is top five in the weight class, so um, that'd be a good matchup for, for Zilmer and a nice win if he could do that. Um, and then that's going to put Gino, either way, that's going to put Gino in your semifinal, and I, I think Gino and, and um, Mukhtar be your semifinal. Um, so with Gino getting out of that, the top half of the bracket, he's the top seed, he lives up to his uh, seed, and he follows suit and jumps into the final. Now his final is going to be interesting because, like I said, it would be different if Gable was here. But there's also another interesting twist in this weight class is that if you have another guy that's about 35 years old, and Salas Perez from Cuba, who's moved up from 97. Now, Salas Perez, if you guys know him from way back, he was, you know, 82, 83, 84 kilo guy years ago, 10 years ago, and he's now worked his way up. He used to wrestle Herbert. He beat Herbert a couple times. Um, he's a problem. Um, so, but him at 35 years old wrestling heavyweight, I don't know what you're going to see. I mean, he's never been one that's in the most phenomenal of shape. And then now you couple that with you're competing against guys that have 30, 40, 50 pounds on you. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen him. So maybe he's a little heavier now. Um, he's wrestling heavyweight for a reason. But I'm going to suspect that most guys are going to have about 25, 30 pounds on. So that's going to be tough over a four or five match tournament um, when guys are that much heavier than you. And maybe you're not in tip top shape. Right. So we'll see how things go down there. So I got our goal. Um, and Zari coming out in that semifinal. And that thing is going to be electric because Zari's just a pusher. He pushes the pace, he pushes the pressure, and he pushes the style upon you. So he's going to go under hooks and push outs, under hooks and push outs, snap in the head, under hooks and push outs, and he never stops. He does it for a six minute straight. I think he's going to be able to do that. Those young, fresh legs, he's going to be able to do that against an older. He's got a lot of miles on him. Taha Agul. And I think that Zari will wear him down in that semifinal and get the Gino in the final. Now, as we get to that final, now this is going to be a best two out of three with Gino because Gino won at the Olympics against Zari. And then now Zari beat him in the world finals in Oslo. So they're one and one. I got the young boy winning. I got Zari. I got the young boy winning. And I got the young boy winning. And then of all crazy things, calling out Gable Stevenson. Or Gable Stevenson even calling him out. You know, I mean, that, that, that's what I like about the young guys today is they don't have a problem um, doing things like that. And be like, look, Gable being like, listen, let's get this thing popping. Let's do a little something. Let's see what you're all about. You know, you, you wrestling in my weight. That's my spot. And uh, you got my gold medal. So let, let's wrestle for it kind of thing. And I think that would be pretty cool for the sport. Um, that's the way I'm thinking. Let's see how it works out. But anyway, I got Zari coming out, uh, young boy. 
winning this thing again. So I think these older guys are on their way up. Gino Petro and Taha Ghoul, who have dominated the weight class for five, six, seven years. And, you know, their, their time is coming to an end. Their time is coming to an end. And I think Zari is going to be the next guy. Um, if it were Gable Stevenson in the weight, they would be the next guys the same way that Gino and Taha were for five, six, seven years. But um, I, I think Zari's all alone here. I think he's going to run away with it, take take these old heads out of the picture, um, which would be an amazing tournament because you'd have to beat Taha and Gino, which is what Gable did at the Olympics. He beat Taha early and then beat Gino in the finals. I mean, that's just an amazing tournament to have to wrestle that kind of talent and beat both of them. So I think that's where Zari's going to be at. So we'll check this thing out when we get to the heavyweight division. And then that's another goal for Iran. It's really just us two, Iran, USA. Every little bit counts. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, maybe we have to root for Gino, uh, in this, or maybe even root for Taha in the semifinal. But we'll see what happens. But that's my pick. Zari's going to be your 2022 world champion at the heavyweight division.